Hi, Nikki Duffy here, and I'm here in the, um, in the Eden Project in uh, Cornwall, which was created by um, a man called Tim Smith, just by following the energy. Um, and he's not access or anything like that, but um, I mean, look, it's just, I'm, I'm in the, um, the rainforest uh, section now. And um, so Tim, he, he just, um, he followed the energy, even though um, the project looked like it was, it was a massive project and it looked at like it wasn't, um, you know, it took a lot to get it off the ground. Oh, here we have, what's that? <laughs> It's all under a big dome here, and um, yeah, so we've, it's been massive, and we've got um, school projects and, and all kinds of things, preservation of rainforest plants and all kinds of things like that going on, and uh, yeah, so um, Tim Smith, he, it was his vision that created this, and um, and he applied for, and it was back in the 90s that it started creating it. And in 1999, there was like a, a big um, funding uh, body called the Millennium, Millennium Fund for like Millennium projects that would, uh, you know, to fund them. And Tim um, applied for the money uh, to, from the Millennium Fund to uh, advance this project. It was already underway. But, you know, I think they needed something like seven million to really create the vision, really like create it and, and have it actualized. And, um, and the Millennium Project, uh, the Millennium Funding um, turned him down. And even though he, um, he hadn't got the seven million and he'd, he'd got all these people who he'd, he'd persuaded to leave their high paying corporate jobs, to come and uh, work at the Eden Project and, and help him um, actualise this vision. I mean, look down here. It's, it's just, and this is just one of the, um, of the domes um, that are created here at the Eden Project. I mean, if you, just, uh, if you don't know anything about it, then just Google the Eden Project. So, um, yeah, so he didn't get the funding that he was, um, he was relying on and um and the whole project would have just collapsed basically without it and uh but he still he still believed in his vision and he still um you know followed the energy to do it and what he did was he um when he realized he didn't have the funding he persuaded a local shop to give him a load of bottles of champagne and another load of, uh, and he said i'll pay you sometime i don't i can't promise when but i will pay you and uh, persuaded a, another organisation to give him like baths full of um, ice to put the champagne in and put on this big media day, uh, inviting all the top TV and radio and um, newspaper uh, uh, to come to the media day. And um, he, gave, he gave them champagne and got up on stage and said, Millennium, Millennium Project, Millennium Funding, we love you, we love you, we love you. And that's all he said. So he didn't say, we haven't got the funding. He didn't say, we have got the funding, which would have been a lie. And the next day, all over the news, all over the newspapers and TV and everything, they were, there was a write-up about, you know, what a fabulous project the um, Eden Project was and how, um, how that's exactly where the Millennium Funding should be going. And it was, um, it was they, they were excited about the project. And then... Um, Funnily enough, a, a little time later, Tim got a letter from the Millennium Funding saying that he had received the funding. So it's all about following the energy and creating your own reality, even if things don't look like they're possible in this reality, even if, it, if everything looks hopeless. Just keeping moving forwards, following the energy, and you can create magic that like like this this is living proof of it um and what else could be possible for you if you chose to follow the energy and really go for what you believe in even if it looks impossible so thanks for joining me today and i'll see you again soon